Hi, welcome back to the channel. It is week nine, I think. Forgot to look before I came out here. But it's World Princess Week, and it's a good thing it was because if I had to pick so far the least motivated week to run, it would probably be this one. <laughs> It's Saturday. Haven't filmed all week. Like I said, zero motivation to do much of anything. But it is World Princess Week. Um, and before I talk about that, I watched my 90s movies for the week early because I knew it was Princess Week, which was Squanto, which I'd never seen, and The Lion King this week. Um, we all know Lion King's a classic, but Squanto, I had never seen. I guess, it's, you know, it's about, it's about Squanto and the whole, you know, it ends with the first Thanksgiving type deal. It was pretty funny actually, but anyway, so when I got to thinking about World Princess Week, I was trying to decide what I wanted to do. And you know, I just did, with my princess training, I did a princess a week. Um, and so there, I mean, there's a lot of princesses. I, so I couldn't decide. So one of the things I do with my free time is I do, um, I volunteer with FCA with our middle school cheerleaders at our at our school here. So I enlisted their help and had them vote. gave out gave them little slips and I said, write down your favorite princess and why. So I took the top four, and those are the ones that I honored through Run this week. So we'll talk about them as I get going in this run. I'm actually doing a LTP run today be five sets of four minutes at a pace I feel like I could sustain for an hour with a minute rest in between each set so during that rest time we'll talk about what princesses were were voted the favorites of the 15 middle school girls that I pulled <laughs> So I decided to do the princesses that they voted for. I did them in order of creation. So first up was Cinderella. And I have a little clip of my Cinderella run. That was the other thing. All my runs this week except for today were on the treadmill. But Cinderella run actually did chorus pickups while I watched um, Brandy's Cinderella. Love, love, love it. I also love the other real life Cinderella that I've talked about, you know, during princess training. Oh gosh, that minute went up fast. Gotta run. Three sets in and the minute rest goes by real fast. So what I was saying was that the real life Cinderella's, um, not the musical one, it's not one of my favorites. I just love the catchphrase, have courage, be kind. And I got to thinking when I was reflecting on Cinderella that sometimes it takes courage to be kind, uh, especially with people who may not be reciprocating that kindness or people you don't get along with. Okay, so our second princess uh, was Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And I know my minute's about up, so I'll talk about her in a second. So Belle, who doesn't love her? She reads, she sings, and I love that she really seems to epitomize selflessness. You know, she loved her father so much to sacrifice herself, basically. Um, and also saw through the outer, you know, of the beast into his heart and knew that there was something good there. So she's a great princess. Um, okay, second place was Mulan. Well, not necessarily. Actually, Cinderella, Belle, and Mulan all got the same number of votes. But Mulan is our second to last princess we'll talk about. 
after I do this set. <laughs> Yay, done with all my sets, so now I just have a cool down so I can talk longer. And by the way, I don't know if you can smell that fog. It's humid out here. Temperature-wise, it feels awesome, though. So Mulan um, pulled out part of my Mushu costume from last year. Or actually, I guess it was just earlier this year. And my little cricket for my picture for Strava. Um, it's another classic. And what I love about Mulan, I think, is almost very similar to Belle, you know, a great respect for family and wanting to protect them and doing the right thing even when it's not easy type deal. Um, such a good movie. Sorry, I'm catching my breath. Okay, so now we're in cool down. We'll talk about our last princess, she won by one vote with my middle schoolers, was Tiana. So I brought out my, what's supposed to be a frog from my, my princess costume from, from Disney to come out here with me and do this little four mile workout because it is a not long run week, which is awesome. But I have to agree, who doesn't love Princess and the Frog? I um, I'm excited. I don't think they put a date on it yet when they're going to officially change Splash Mountain into uh, Princess and the Frog, but that'll be exciting. Love the music. Um, and I know that uh, when I had them write down why they like their particular princesses, one of the girls for Tiana wrote that she works hard for what she wants. And that's such a great, a great lesson. Um, if it's a line in one of the songs is, or well, actually maybe it's just something her dad says. You know, you can wish on you can wish on the wishing star, but it only gets you part of the way. You still, you can't just sit around and wait for things to happen. You gotta you gotta put in a little bit of work. And that um, I guess that definitely rings true with what we're trying to do here, training for marathons and goofies and dopies. Is it's a wish and a dream that's you know lives in our hearts, but we can't just sit and expect it to happen got to get out here and put in the miles which is why I'm glad I had something to theme this week around because I definitely did not feel motivated at all to do much of anything this week speaking of which um, so this is my LTP workout this week the other workout I did was my VO2 max workout which I forget what princess it was that day but um, that was a four mile ended up being a four mile run but that's sets of two minutes running at a pace you think you could hold for 10 minutes. So basically I, I try to keep what I feel like I could finish, you know, um, a mile time trial. That's what I, what I set the treadmill for. And that went really good. And other than that, I just did warm ups for strength training and I did one easy uh, run earlier in the week on the treadmill, just put on some music and ran. So let me finish this cool down. Go home, get cleaned up, and we'll wrap this up with Meb's lesson. Sunday morning. I am uh, getting really bad about waiting till the last minute to film these these little outros, but um, it's just so pretty out here today. And uh, our Meb lesson for the week from marathon number eight. It was this 2006 New York City marathon in um, 2006, like I just said. Oh boy, I haven't had enough coffee yet. November 5th, he placed 20th. Um, this is a very interesting story for him because one of those, um, I, think he's, I think it's Murphy's Law is what he referenced, where everything that could go wrong did. He got sick, he forgot articles of clothing that he needed for running, and it was just a whole mess. But his cool, le uh, his cool lesson, uh, his key lesson, do what you can to minimize exposure to risk, but also accept that some things are out of your control. And can we get an amen? There is absolutely nothing in this life that we can control. I tell you what, if there's anything that this past summer has taught me is that, I mean, you just, you just can't control certain things that happen. Um, but it is important to do what you can. And I think it made me think of what I said um, earlier when I was doing my training run yesterday was, um, you know, we can, we can do our best with the training. It doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to race well, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't train at all. 
And I'm sorry if there's a lot of road noise. I'm sitting outside my church and there's cars driving by. But I did want to share what I shared with uh, my middle school girls when we were talking about World Princess Week. Uh, there's a verse in the Bible. There's actually several verses in the Bible that talk about this. But the one that, um, that I shared was Galatians chapter 4, verse 7. So you are no longer a slave, but God's daughter. And since you are his daughter, God has made you his heir. So in a cheesy way, but really saying it's not really that cheesy, that we are princes and princesses because we are children of the king. Um, and, it, you know, like I said, it sounds sort of cheesy, but I think that sometimes we forget how important and special we are to God. Um, and that's one thing that I always try to convey to these girls. Um, so I think especially at that middle school age, sometimes it can be really easy to get dragged down by what society, you know, what we think we're supposed to look like, what we're supposed to sound like, what clothes we're supposed to wear. Um, I mean, that, that kind of stuff I think matters a lot to that age kid, you know, the, that age of kids. But I mean, I go in there and I tell them, you are beautiful the way that God made you. Um, and he loves you so much. And you know, he loved you so much that he went to the cross for you. Um, so I just, I constantly try to push that because sometimes I don't think they hear it enough. So remember that, that like I say, you are God's masterpiece and he loves you so much. Um, and I hope that brings a smile to your face today. So be sure to give this video a like, uh, leave me a comment, how did week nine go for you? And be sure to subscribe. We got 11 miles next week. A little nervous. Always remember that you are God's masterpiece and that he loves you so, so much. I'll see you next week.